Nikki House Husband Helpful Home Hint Series in the kitchen. Lesson number one, how to make waffles, or as the Belgians would say, les gopher. And we're going to go for it, because I have been astounded at my ripe old age of 63 to know how many of you out there in YouTube land have not eaten a waffle, and if you have, you've suffered frozen processed waffles, when these are one of the most simple things you can make. A quick fix to those hungry munchies. Are you ready now? Let's go. Out comes the bowl. We make room on the table, push back the riding fruit, the down, drummer, aplanado, bowl goes down. We take out our waffle maker. Push the popcorn maker back, take out the plugs and hurry. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Waffle iron on. Start the mix. To the fridge. Get out the eggs. The eggs. Here are the eggs. The milk. Okay. First up, we're making waffles for three. One small guy, one medium guy, one big guy. Only gonna need, where's my garbage? Are you into recycling? Compost Is this a grain cooking show? Compost cook it. Dude, no, I'm not separating the eggs. Oh. That's for something else. So this is like a grain cooking show. You're into environmental stuff, or no environmental stuff? Oh. Yeah. These are bloody battery eggs. Oh. I found that Woolworths battery eggs are the freshest eggs you can buy at half the price. Really? I'd like to go free range, but I'm into freshness first. So this is like a cutting edge sort of cooking show. Here's my down with the egg beater. Add the milk. Can I ask if there's any cooking show people that you aspire to or particularly despise? Aspire to do what? Well, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's Nigella, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> and that other guy got fat. Which one's that? Okay, that's mixed. I can't remember their names. There's so many of them. Uh, what do you think about them and in general? Like, you know, to me, they're all complicated. This is simple hippie cooking. Uh. Some sodium bicarbonate, not too much. Throw the rest away in the kitchen sink. Oh my god, what's happening in the kitchen I'm sink? I'm into white powders. Now we look for our homemade vanilla extract. This is the world's strongest vanilla extract. Into this little bottle there are 250 grams of vanilla pies. Soaked in a 70-30 solution of ethanol and water. We put in just a little bit. You need to, oh, that's enough. That's in there. Now we go and we get our flour. Where's the flour? And today's flour is going to be, we think we're going to go for some maize and and then, then maize and what else do I want? Oh. Not attar flour, not rice bran flour, not millet flour. Okay, I'm running low on flours. Alright, we'll try millet flour. Okay. Uh, so where'd you get your bananas from? My bananas, well, my banana trees. Oh. Well, they're not actually trees, they're her herbaceous perennials. Are they? What does that mean? That means they don't have any woody tissue. Dendrological specimens, woody tissue, shrubs and trees. Can we make a rule that there's no, like, more than four-syllable words? Absolutely not. Okay, fair enough. I am not into dubbing down. This whole happy hippie husband helpful home hint is about smartening up. No, We're I done just... with dumbing down out there. Now, when you're doing your waffle batter, there's no difference in the mix between pancake and waffle. You use the same ingredients. The only difference is waffle batter is a thicker batter. I don't sift. Why not? Why? Why? Because us hippies are, la are lazy, funky, la are lazy, dippy hippies, and we try to avoid work wherever possible. And I have found out that sifting is simply not necessary. So what, did, what do you do with all your extra time? What do I do with all my extra time? Yeah, you're a time saver, right? Oh man, well I got I do I, I play on the farm and I play inside. Oh. I like to cook, obviously. Oh, right, here we go. Batter's getting ready. Now, come a bit closer, cameraman. I want to show you what I mean about the thickness. See how it's falling off in triangles yeah. like that? 
That's good enough for waffles. It's, it could be a little thicker. Pancake is a little thinner, and it, adds, it could be, I'm just going to add a bit more. We wanted a bit thicker. It's about halfway mm. in between. Mm. So how much flour do you reckon you put in there? Two handfuls? I don't know. I go by the, I go by the texture. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's more like it. See, that's how it's dropping off and not running yeah. in a stream. With pancakes, it'll run in a stream. Uh, that's good. Seems a bit lumpy. You seem a bit lumpy. <laughs> it is not lumpy. Uh, did you mix it properly? What? Did you mix it properly? Yes. Wake up to yourself, boy. Alright, ladle. Iron. Waffle iron. Uh, so it's preheated. I don't know if it's hot enough. These uh, stupid irons take a while. Uh, heavy enough, it's hot enough. We'll do a test room. Mm, this is good. Look at that. Nice and fluffy. Mmm. Mm. Ding dong, the witches. That's gonna take a while. You might as well show uh, them. Oh, uh, we can talk in the meantime. We can have a we can chat, or I don't care. Chat about what? Chat about with mushrooms. How about we cut to mushrooms while you? This is we're just what waiting. <coughs> well, the fungi here. What's the fungi? What, what are those things? Aplanatum. What's that? Ling Zi is Ganoderma uh, lucidum, and it's one of the top Chinese herbs. And, and Ganoderma aplanatum has much the same properties. Mm -hmm. And this is Tramides, which is another uh, potent Chinese medicinal fungus. Mm -hmm. Among us. Yeah. Sink. And you can tell you can tell um, Tramides by the concentric circles. Sorry, that's not Tramides. Ah. This is Tramides. You can tell by the small polypores, the small holes underneath. Right. Okay. Right. Let's try, uh, See, there's another. There's bigger one. And do they grow any bigger than that? And then these are the Ganodermas. And they're quite woody, aren't they? Oh, Ganodermas, yeah. These are very common. Yeah. It's not like I'm finding anything rare or something. Oh. And so I'm just trying to build up my supply, and then I'll get them all powdered up, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll make teas and ethanol extracts. Uh-huh. And so, um... Much as I've done here, this is my Chinese tonic that I take right. on a daily basis. Uh-huh. It's got 24 different herbs. The most toxic is Chinese licorice. Yeah. Is that why you're looking so good? Glycorrhiza urolensis. Is uh -huh. that why I'm looking good? Yeah. yeah, that and physical exercise, good diet, yeah. good genes. Waffles. Waffles are essential to any any growing boy's life. <laughs> you gotta be joking me. Ah, and so what? And you've mixed all that up in water, is it or? What? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. This is um. In every fifth, in every tablespoon of this tonic, there are five grams of actual herbs. And what I do is I take my herbs and I soak them in ethanol, yeah. pharmaceutical grade ethanol, mm -hmm. for about a week, and then I decant the liquid off, throw a bit more ethanol off to wash it, take that off, then I take the, the herbs, the detritus herbs that have been ethanol extracted, and then I do what the Chinese do, which is to, um, to, boil the, to cover them with water and boil off half the water. So that's what I do, mm -hmm. and I boil it. I boil it down to where the water volume equals the, equals the, uh, the equals the alcohol volume, and then I boil the water off down, and then I boil the alcohol down, and then I combine them. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you combine them is I should find you another bottle because you're not going to be able to tell here. What happens is that it's not sediment in these bottles; it's precipitate. Because the first extraction, mm -hmm. the first extraction is with ethanol, and when you add the water, there's quite a few compounds that the Chinese don't get out with their water, with, with their with their water extraction, with their tea. Mm. Water extraction is a tea, a tincture is an ethanol extraction. The Chinese didn't have alcohol, and so what happens by doing the alcohol first is there are substances that the alcohol takes in that water doesn't. So when you add water and dilute. The saturation point is reached with some of these chemicals in the ethanol and they precipitate out. And they are part of why this tonic is so therapeutic. Mm. I'm a bit confused, but it sounds good. I, I can talk the line. Mm. Alright, I think first set okay. of waffles might be ready. Let's go have a look here, bud. Okay, da, I'm ready. Da, 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 da. Oh, they're looking good, but they I like them a bit more. Do you? Yes. What little brown are oh. We'll get out a plate for me, make things. Ah, shit. We're going to move looks, the egg away. That looks like a clean plate. Oh, yeah, we do have clean plates. We bring out the butter. Uh-huh. We bring out the real maple syrup. Yeah. 
I buy pure maple syrup, not by brand, but by price. Mm -hmm. Shave the butter. Shave the mm. butter. Shave the butter. We will do it. Mm. Butter is better because margarine sucks duty pie. What's that? Because it's margarine, man. Oh. <laughs> if you're gonna eat, <laughs> if you're gonna eat junk. Oh, oh butter's. Has it got a heart tick? Has it got a tick for your heart? No, neither of them do. Oh. Okay, on goes the butter for Benny. Yeah. Out comes another waffle. Uh. I don't think I like millet waffles as much as corn and oat and wheat, but never mind. Uh, that's a flour type. Benny, you want a waffle? He's ready. Come and get him. Where's my waffle? It's here. Don't waffle on. Get your mm. fucking ass in yeah. here. Now put the shotgun down. Come and get your waffle. Go, mate. Ooh, awesome. Right, that looks great. Do the taste test. Alright, taste testing. Mmm. Oh. Fresh. Bonza! Fresh. Bonza! It's a bottler. Lesson two will be how to make fish casserole. Cool. Welcome to Happy Hippie House Husband Helpful Home Hints. Where's my waffle? Close. Okay.